Well, this holiday season, some homeowners in South Oroville got a surprise of nearly $150 in taxes due to a fire department that no longer provides service. New tonight, Action News Now reporter Esteban Reynoso spoke with homeowners and the El Madeo Fire Department to get some answers. Take a look at where I'm standing. This is the El Madeo Fire Department in South Orville, nearly a year after it was forced to close its doors. Now homeowners are wondering why they're still paying for this place, even though it's not open. A $135 charge some homeowners are trying to understand. And you know, we depend on those guys, and without them, we're much more vulnerable than we would be without, with them, you know. And, uh... In this photo shared with us, a homeowner highlights the taxes they paid despite El Madeo Fire closing in 2020. The amount comes from Measure B that was passed back in 2008 to fund the department. Guys, they responded to this neighborhood all the time, and we have a lot of elderly people in the neighborhood and yeah. stuff, and it's like, when they respond, it's like, minutes matter. These homeowners on Las Plumas Avenue that are only three minutes away they'll still have to pay the tax. And when you look up the Almadeo Fire Department on maps, it says it's permanently closed. But it's not just the people who live near the station who are worried about it. It's also those who have loved ones that own homes around the fire station, and they want them to be taken care of. From open. They've been there for years since I was a kid. This man who did not want to share his name has a grandmother that lives in the area. What is it going to mean to have them right there instead of 10 minutes to three minutes. That's everything. If she was to fall or anything, you know, God forbid happened, it's nice to know they're right there. In a meeting next year, the El Madeo Fire Board will decide whether to keep the doors open at the station and keep the tax money collected or close the station for good, pay all remaining debts, liquidate the department, and give back any leftover money to taxpayers. Before the station shut down near the end of 2020, it was the second busiest fire station in all of Butte County, responding to about 1,500 calls a year. In Orville, Esteban Reynoso, Action News Now coverage you can count on. For now, Orville Fire and Cal Fire cover the special district's emergency calls. The El Madeo Fire Board will have a meeting January 12th to decide the fate of the station.